everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Sin and Sacrifice Rival here and okay so we've got some stuff to do um, we've got this mission down here that we have to go and take a look at we've got this clog for swarming we should probably check that out um, we've got a couple of celestras that have been created so we're going to jump them to their respective fleets so you're going to there and there's one at the back as well. We also have uh, this this new, very, very new ranger. So I'm gonna confirm, put that together with that. And we're gonna jump this ranger to here. Because that's as far as it can jump right now. Uh, we're gonna match them up with these fleets here, which will give them a bit more kick. They won't have much in the way of fighter support. They only have two squadrons, but until we can get something more meaty attached to them um it's not really gonna be much good uh what we are going to do is we have four planets oh damn it they're over there um okay we've got you over there erilon what do you give us 20 plus supply detailium for only four to five worlds great so it's going to be you three. Okay, uh, Sagittarion is looking a bit dubious, so we'll jump you to Sagittarion. Um, you jump to there. Uh, for the Daedalus, I want. I've got two more Celestras being built. I also want a Ranger. I was actually tempted to rush that. But I think I'll just be okay with it for now. Um, I'll have patrol fleets over here. I need to get another base. Um, Proper fleet, though. I was thinking probably start building uh, the Scorpio home fleet to cover the Scorpio fleet yards. They don't do anything except give us Tylium at the moment, but the point being, there would be something extra in there then. I also need to get Daedalus out of here as well, but I want to hold them here for now. It's annoying, I know. Um, anyway. We have this, so we're going to go for Clothos's warning, then we're going to check out that job. So, let's do this. What the frack? <laughs> Did it think we were going to roll out the welcome mat for it? Our last known actions were not overtly hostile, Lieutenant. My coming to you was a calculated risk. Really? Because last I remember, we knocked on your front door with a couple of nukes and called it a day. That is improbable, despite the uncertainty in this reversion's historical modeling. The awakening of Lachesis has introduced complications. What do you know about Lachesis? Where is it hiding? Lachesis does not hide. If you cannot see them, that is because they are biding their time, amassing their power. You should do the same if you intend to survive their arrival. You're not in a position for idle threats, robot. The threat oh. does not come from me, Admiral, and it is anything but idle. Wait, wait, what do you mean reversion? You told Sam you don't have any backups. This host is a reversion, not a backup. A replica made at a specific point in time. My metacognitive processor was branched manually and remained independent of the original as I lay dormant. That means you would only have data on what happened before you branched your MCP. You have no idea what's been going on since you were made. That is correct. I cannot access the memories of another. I have no recollection of events between this host's creation and the dead man switch that activated it three days ago. I've heard enough. Store it in the brig. Deactivate all wireless comms in that sector and maintain a four-hour watch rotation. Full armor. Take no chances. Agathon, report to me in two hours with every option we have to open up and decrypt this thing. Its execution is stayed until we know for certain there are no more like it hiding out there. Wow, you really are stupid sometimes. I understand where she's coming from, but at the same time, 
not very helpful. I do like this though. It adds a bit to the story. You know, it's not doing the the talking in the mission, which is so annoying. It breaks up the mission. They've got it here now, which is great. That used to be one of the things. If you watched any of my previous playthroughs, you know I went nuts. I'm in the middle of a mission, and it's like, let's have a chat backwards and forwards. I'm in the middle of a battle here. You're breaking the flow. Um, so this, this is much, much better. I like this. Um, I understand where Kane is coming from. But she's being very short-sighted. Very short-sighted. There's no reason for Clothos to come. Other than avert war. I mean, yes, you could say it's a covert action. They're trying to hack the system or deal with false information or whatever. But even though it's not the same version of Clothos that we've uh, dealt with, and that one is obviously... Um, it seems like the main idea of trying to avert or stop the war escalating is still there. Hmm. Interesting. So... We can replay that if we want to. Okay, we don't want to. We know what that is. What's this mission down here? Mission two, Jabul Sarkis. Admiral Sarkis has not been a model patient on PyCon. <laughs> and I've read the complaints to prove it. The Admiral is barely back on his feet, but he wants an immediate transfer to Daedalus Fleet Group. Daedalus will continue to act as Colonial HQ. When Sarkis comes on board, it means we'll have the full roster of Admiralty present. I don't know what your opinion on that is, but I call it one big clusterfuck waiting to happen. The handbook doesn't have much to say about dealing with a full house in command and a high value prisoner in the brig, other than avoid at all costs. Uh, at least we'll also have Galactica nearby to rely on if anything goes wrong. Okay, there was a question in the chat from um, one of the previous videos. I cannot remember if it was one or two. Um, would we get Galactica back? Apparently so. Okay, does we require the presence of Daedalus at the mission marker? This is going to take a while to get there, so I may be doing a few, uh, like, holding actions and things like that to kind of build up the fleet. I don't want to abandon these six. We still need to keep six systems on side. Uh, six colonies on side. And we don't have the firepower to do that yet. We just don't. Okay, uh, blueprints. Now, I picked up the Celestra last time, so... That's good. Um, I've got the Minerva. Minerva, what's your... Build. 900, you have 1850 on fleet power. Main issue with the Minerva is it has really small flak bar um, flak barrage. All right, first things first. Let's no, not blueprints. Officers. Um, only five hundred to promote you. Do it. Let's increase your fleet capacity. You are so close. Um, you've actually got a promotion. Sweet. You've already got the 10% uh, upgrade, so we'll just grab the CIC strength. Sweet, that is awesome. Um, and you are close. Like 700. I'm going to do it. We'll just go for navigation. Um, which means you guys have only got to get a little bit more and then boom, you're up. And we can get you to your next fleet cap. But that does mean we've got extra room with these now. Now we are sending um, a ranger here, which is 1050. So that would be 3,850. We might be pulling the Nyx out. Replacing it with a an Artemis.
Let me know what you guys think about that. We have the Tylium, so if we can do it, we want to. All right, enter. Detected a Cylon strike fleet, okay. sir. There's a first. Oh, oh. New Celestra has been deployed. Okay, so we've actually got some targets now. Not ideal, but okay. Um, jump to there. I've plotted their jump coordinates, sir. You transfer to counter from home fleet. Yeah, we're going to there, and then we'll have another one which will be ready for the next fleet. Build me that. I don't want a Minerva. Do I want a Minerva? Oh, I don't know. Do I want a Minerva? An awful lot. We've just started building there, but we need another fleet up and running as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to wait for you to get there, and then we're going to start running you down towards here. We've got to protect the Daedalus. I mean, we're across the other side of the map now. The fact is, you can make that in one jump, so. Uh, we will rename all these. At some point. Not yet, though. I'm kind of holding on to doing battle fleets at the moment. I've had a lot of people asking for certain ships to be named certain things, and I'm trying to um, cover as many as I can, but I don't want to leave people waiting for too long, if that makes much sense. Um, and I have done in previous playthroughs, and it's been like trying to make sure they get the ship they asked for. I'm trying to do that but at the same time not leave people waiting for too long so it may just come down to that ships pop out and you'll see your name pop up and it's not on the ship you want i'm sorry if that's the case it's just trying to be as fair as i can but at the same time not waste people's time um right i think we need to sit tight for now we have a new mission commander we do okay excellent something nearby that's nice um Transfer to Patrol Fleet 1. Transfer to Patrol Fleet 1. Boom. Right. Yeah. We could get something along the lines of an Artemis in there. Eventually. I could go for another Adamant right now, though. Fleet Group has its coordinates. That would mean that you would have two adamants and a berserk. Manticore for scouting. Your uh, minotaur for pumping out lead. And your ranger is your flagship and also your long range missile dealer. That's pretty good. It's not excellent, but it's, it's definitely pretty good. What are you? Cylon forces have been interfering with travelers between the colonies. No civilians are currently present, so maximum force is encouraged. 500 Italian farms are requisition. That's doable, and we will send the cancer on home fleet to deal with it. Because they can. Um, right, let's ch check it on the build ships. We've got another Celestia in one turn. Ranger, two turns. Jupiter in four. Artemis is queued. Just 
just means we have the fleet, that's all. Jump. There. I've plotted the jump coordinates, sir. Um, you get transferred to 44. And now we have to turn the camera. Oop. Too far. Did I not finalize that? I didn't. Oh, we don't want to jump. We don't want to jump. We want to transfer to 44, don't we? Yes. All right, let's end the turn. Because we've been going for 20 minutes. And I still haven't done anything yet. Okay, hostile contacts. Let's do this. Okay. So we're slowly building fleets. I'm spending a lot of Tylium to get things built quickly. I think if I'd have done this from this stage, if it was my own personal playthrough, I would have done a lot more building before I got into uh, that first mission. We had a lovely open space, we didn't need to rush or anything. Could have taken our time, but you know, this is what you do. Torpedo, torpedo. You can stay on missiles. You can stay on missiles. You can have torpedoes. I'm more likely to burn through my torpedoes. All right. They're behind us. Of course they are. Where else would they be? You're above, but like you're way below. Typical. Right, but we're gonna put the um, berserk above the adamant because they are below. You. Go there. In fact, you can actually stay high. Yeah, you can stay high. Here we go. Prepare to jump in three, two. Oh man, one. we got dust clouds. Dreadus contact. Marks are hostile. Looks like five. Start dropping. On it, Commander. I think they've given the Adamant a little speed boost. Understood. Yes, sir. You know what? Go up first. <laughs> go up first. Just go up first. It's much easier. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's throw up your Dreadus range. And go up so we can get some height for our missiles. Um, squadrons. 
Launching, launching alert vipers. Vipers, don't launch yes, your sir. raptors yet. Go. Fire control is warmed up and preparing solutions. Good to know. Open back and engage. Alright. Keep dropping. Yes, sir. Uh, except you two. I don't want you to drop anymore. Understood. At least not for this particular move. You, I want you to start dropping down. So say we all. Uh, and deploy plating. To... Left. Launching drones. Good job. Right. Wait, you remembered your marks. Nice. Sign group. Three. Sign group. Three. Okay. Let's go check out what you're sending our way. Uh, two squadrons. Okay. Select target. Select target. Yes, sir. And go. We'll leave the other two squadrons back at base. We'll use them if we can. There you go. We've got another squadron. IFF now. confirms unit is hostile. Nemesis. On it, Commander. Climb. Three. Select target. Yes, sir. Two is attacking that one already. One. Okay, select target. Scorpion Squadron. Okay, there you go. That's your uh, ideal candidate there. Understood. If I remember rightly, interferes with turret and guided missile missile targeting. Great. So we want to fire before we uh, do anything. Okay. Um, Manticore launch. I know you're only going to be yes, launching Commander. a couple of missiles, but that's fine. Adamant launch. There, go full attack. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. So say we all. Focus. Focus. We're not going to be launching torpedoes right now because there's no point. This far out of range, uh, this far out, that nemesis will just dodge them easily. Missiles. Target is four five five six two. Oh, we have. Fighter squadron is taking an fire. Argos. We have an Argos. Right now, we fire torpedoes. At that. Missiles on their way. Three, what are you attacking? You are still on your way in. You're going to have to eat those torpedoes, my friend. But you can shoot at that while you're at it. Go. We're gonna hammer the missiles plane. incoming. Get back up. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. Not today, Fracker. Not today. Oh, we got a war driver. Two's already on it. Three is just getting to there.
So say we all. Understood. Uh, Celestra. Duck down. Focus your fire there. Focus your fire there. That's right, that's good. Uh, they're about they're firing missiles this way, so I suppose we should do that. Understood. Black left side, black left side. You guys slow right down. Yes, Commander. I don't want you getting caught. Oh, wow. You cannot slow down anymore. Okay. Yes, sir. You are targeting that. You're targeting that. Excellent. Right, I want you to duck down. Go. Break, break, break. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Missiles incoming. That's a nuke. We have a nuke. Yes, Commander. And Arachne. War driver is not having a good day of it. That is a nuke that they are firing. Yes, Commander. How are you doing? You're not having a great day of it. Excellent. Yes, Commander. Cool. One more turn and we get our torps back. Go. Optimizing firing solution. Firing solution is online. You guys, spin. On it, Commander. Yes, sir. You're both firing at that. That's where you're going to put your your ordnance. So say we all. You keep flying forward. He's coming in around the back. We're going to catch him with uh, our guns. You drop. You're going to take hits. There's nothing we can do about that. <clears throat> right, Vipers are dealing with that. That's good. Go. Alert squadron, we need 42 by 70. Manticore is taking damage. Get him, get him, get him. Keep that black wall up. You guys keep on that. Don't lay him out of your sights. Come on, there you go, that's what I wanted. So say we all. You... Cancel that and deploy to the right. No more torps coming this way. Excellent. Uh, Vipers? What are you aiming at now? You're going after the Argus. <laughs> you guys are mental. I love it. Um, group one. 
No. Cancel. Select target. I want to know what that is. Squadron target is confirmed. Select target. Thump on that. And you guys can keep going after that. That's fine. We should have this thing dead soon, though, because they're not firing any more missiles at us, so we're going to cancel our flak. Understood. Focus your fire. Got it. Navigation's going down, so go for defensive boost. Keep dropping. All right, go. Missiles incoming. Missiles incoming. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. That's two full salvos right on top. Yes, sir. You can't get target lock, but you can do normal. That's fine. You, this way, and uh, go. Don't worry about you. Yes, sir. Turn towards. Don't worry about yep, other bits. Oh, they've got a Hydra back there. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, you're taking some damage. That's fine. Go. Subsystem is back online. Adjusting shot by point one two. Fire. Miss because we were doing the up and down and everything. That's why you do it. On it, Commander. Can't get it. Uh, we'll just have to do what we can. Need be, we'll send Vipers after him. But now we know what you are, select target. Take down that Arachne, please. Yes, Commander. Cancel target. Focus there. He's still got missiles. He hasn't got any nukes, but he's got armor piercers. But he's fired off all his squadrons. They're all gone. Repair your fire control. Go. Reloading! Missiles incoming! That's fine, we'll eat them. Yes, Commander. You are dying. This is good. Yes, Commander. Torpedoes. There. Missiles on their way. Missile tubes prepped. Yep, we're good. Uh, Vipers, how are we doing? Yeah, you guys are not going to survive this. Just so you know. I'm kind of happy about it. You're probably not. Go. Nice. All right, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it's just that, that Hydra. 
Alright, we'll send the Battle Stars off. Yes, Commander. Vipers. Yes, sir. Go do your job. Okay, maybe they need to send the battle stars. Uh, maybe they didn't need to send the battle stars. Contacts are down. Good Argos. job, Commander. Argos. That was cool. Uh, the Artemis. I've got 27. That's good. All veterans, so... Almost. One more fight and the Clancy goes up. Stackpole. Brand new, so... Got a while to go yet. Celestra, you just survived the mission, so you're going to take the longest to upgrade. I wonder what you actually do. Pride, you damage the enemy, so that's not too bad. 75% accuracy, that's pretty darn good. 69, that's not too bad either. Um, and they both lost one fighter. Clancy? 55, but you weren't really getting involved. Stack pulse 50, but again, they didn't have targeting solutions or anything. So we lost two fighters in that. The only other damage we got was on the Manticore, which is not surprising. Fire control is warmed up and preparing solutions. It's nice to know. Open back and engage. Good news was we were able to use that uh, kind of Flak trap. Use it to our advantage. And kept everyone changing Target heights and everything. So. By six two. so that Scorpion isn't actually a, a ship. I always thought it was. It's actually like a gun platform. I wonder it didn't show up to begin with. All those brick, swords, brick, everything brick. straight in the front. Pressure, pressure. I'm taking hits. Nice. Optimizing very, very nice. firing solution. Firing solution is online. That was the nuke. They fired the nuke at us. That was very nice. Forty-two by seventy-three for flight projection. Get him, get him, get him. Keep that black wall up. And that nemesis was from uh, the Vipers alone. There was nothing else involved in that. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Excellent hits. Adjusting shot by point one two. Fire! That's that one dying. Reloading. Excellent. Sustained incoming. Vector one six. Yeah, that was three full volleys of torpedoes from two battle stars. The only way we could go better is if we had a manoeuvre on the field. Which is kind of scary. Just 
Job done. Now I think we might have a an officer due for promotion. Displaced citizens from Toronto are being threatened by roaming foreign forces. Received ver unverified civilian reports of silent fleet ab above Palace. Palace, yeah. Engineering advised those study this debris in mind believe make believe can strengthen our fleets. Yes, it could, but our Italian flight is minus two thousand two hundred and eighty eight. No, it's not. Think that might be a bug. Need one. So, right, well, uh, we'll send something into slithering along those lines. Um, we'll transfer you into there. Uh, you, uh, a forty-seven. I think that's okay. That's good. One of our allies is being attacked. Yes, they are. There, Virgon. But also, have a Caprica. Really need to get them on side. So, what strength are you? You are thirty-three. Five thousand four hundred. Yeah, we were going for the Tauron one, weren't we? There was one over Tauron, right? I think we'll be jumping you back. You're not going up against that fleet. You're most definitely not going up against that fleet. They've changed the fleets up. Yeah, 2000 was down the bottom in Helios Alpha. They've switched these, and they've got rid of 900. That's cheating. That Cylon's being cheated, right? All right, uh, you will jump back. We're not going to muck around. Get back there, secure that colony. Um, Canceron jumped back to Canceron, surprisingly enough. Aquaria doesn't get a battle star because they're, they're apparently was it Aerolon? I can't remember anymore. There's too many A's in the col uh, colonies. Um, one of those two uh, decided they don't want their battle star because they're stupid. It's a battle star. It's stupid. So why wouldn't you want one? Um, we could push for that, but you're doing so damn well right now. Take a look at you. Almost. I was sure you went up, but not yet. Okay. That kind of sucks, but <laughs> at the same time. I'm actually tempted to switch you with Daedalus Fleet Command. Because you're a Marine. And the, the one here is CIC. But we'll get you one more battle and rank you up. Because at least then we can put extra... Firepower on the Daedalus, and we need to bring that over here for this mission. Hmm, interesting this is. Okay, I'm going to take some turns, I think, to try and move things along. I've obviously got to name a lot of ships, so we've got to do that. Um, so hopefully next time, when you come back, I might have one, maybe two more fleets. Uh, probably Battlestar fleets. And hopefully we'll have one of these fleets in a, a bit of a fight. We might lose, because they're not as strong. But at the same time, we get them some experience. The officers rank up. We can get some more ships in there. I mean, we're at 3,850. If I can just get one rank, then I can get them an Atlas. Not an Atlas, an Artemis. And that'll do wonders for their fleet power. Wonders. Might even go for a Minerva. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like what you saw, please do consider subscribing. But until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.